It's time. It's finally time to pack for your Disneyland Paris trip. In amongst all the excitement of planning, packing, watching YouTube videos, and hopefully some of those are mine. There will always be a few essential items that will be forgotten. And as soon as you get to the parks, they will be the things that you need the most. In this video, I'm going to help you avoid making those mistakes. And some of these items are self-explanatory and will probably already be on your list. And some items may be so far out you may not have even considered packing them. And that's why you're here. I want to help you make your Disneyland Paris trip go as smoothly as possible. Okay, so you won't need a full-on toolkit, but you will need a couple of handy items that will help you out. And that first item being a pair of mini travel scissors. I don't mean a full-on pair of heavy-duty scissors, as these will be confiscated, but a mini fold-up pair that won't take up a lot of extra space. These will come in so handy when you get back to your room and you need to remove some tags from new clothing items or Mickey ears, or even getting your kid's new toy out of its packaging before they have a meltdown. And you can pick up a pair for like four pound on Amazon. Another handy tool would be a mini screwdriver keyring kit. Yes, you heard me correctly. So, not only do you need to wrestle the outer packaging of your child's new toy, Majority of the time these days, they are actually screwed down into their packaging too. Toy manufacturers, why? Help a parent out here. But these super handy sets can also help repair glasses or sunglasses. And if you need to replace a battery in anything, it's got you covered. Again, I found these on Amazon for around four pound. Packing those reusable items will always make you feel like a good person, as you'll be helping out the environment but they will also help you save a whole lot of money and heartache. For example, as great as the food is at Disneyland Paris outside of the main restaurants, sometimes it can get a little messy when you only have one napkin and your hands to use. However, packing reusable utensils can be a game changer and save you a lot less mess. Reusable straws can be great too. Most Disneyland Paris drinks are served with paper straws now, and while I'm all for helping save the environment, paper straws are gross. They get really gummy and become completely useless after your first few sips of your drink. So I like to take my own reusable ones and not forgetting the little quilling brush that goes with them. They take up literally no room in your park bag and you will definitely thank me later. Ziploc bags. You just know, even when you take your own snacks into the parks, someone in your group or even you will be tempted to buy those cute Disneyland Paris snacks. I am guilty as charged here, and sometimes I just can't finish it or think I'd like to save some for later. Or you just know that large, sticky, brightly coloured lolly that you had just bought for your kid will hand it back to you half licked in about five minutes. So those Ziploc bags will help you store it away safe and inside your bag for when it's wanted again later. And believe me, you don't want to waste any of those Disneyland Paris snacks at those prices because that would be a total waste of money. And always making it onto my list are reusable water bottles. It's going to help you stay hydrated and you can refill for free at any of the water fountains dotted around the parks. And it's also going to help you save money as you won't have to be paying for bottled water or fizzy drinks from the park. Now for something that most guests at Disneyland Paris find out about the hard way. And that is Disney Hurts and it especially hurts your feet. Now don't get me wrong, it is a whole world of fun, but when you are constantly on the go, riding rides, walking 20,000 plus steps a day, your feet are hot, they start rubbing against your shoes, you have blisters that you never knew could possibly exist. It's good to have some relief before, during, and after long days in the park. It's always a good idea to keep some plasters or blister prevention pads in your park bag, just in case because those shoes that are just fine at home could turn into nightmares in the park and cause you a lot of pain and no matter how much you prepare, you can still end up with blisters. Now, after your part day, this may sound a little silly, but honestly can make the world of difference. Go ahead and treat yourself to one of those moisturizing foot masks. And believe me, it feels amazing after being on your feet all day in the parks. It's like a mini spa treatment for your feet after all of the hard work they've done for you during the day. As great as the Disneyland Paris hotels are, 
and any of the nearby hotels. You are still not going to be sleeping in your own bed and that means it's all new and different and may not provide you with your ideal sleeping conditions. So maybe consider bringing something familiar from home that will make you feel much more comfortable, such as aromatherapy sprays for your pillow, a white noise machine, or download a white noise app onto your phone, a specific pillowcase, or even your own pillow if you're driving and can spare the space in your car. But just don't forget any of those things when you leave. Now, hotels can be surprisingly quiet in off seasons, but these days, there is no real off season for Disneyland Paris and its hotels can be noisy and you will still hear a lot more going on from kids running up and down the hallways, busy mornings with families waking extra early for extra magic hour if you are staying on site or on the flip side of that, people returning to their rooms super late after they have stayed to watch the fireworks and you have chosen to get an early night instead. So you're probably going to want to drown out the noises with a portable sound machine. You can pick up some really small ones on Amazon for around 20 pound and they do the job just nicely. But if you don't want to take one or invest in one, there are some really great smartphone apps that do just the same thing, but they just aren't as powerful. Or you could always take some earplugs. Not only are there going to be external noises to your room, but you are also going to be sharing a room with people that you don't normally share a room with back at home. And that wall back at home that separates your bedrooms, well, it's not there. And probably your next best thing will be earplugs. They do a great job of blocking out sound both inside and outside of your room. You're on holiday and a busy holiday at that. You'll have early mornings and late nights and a whole lot of rides, fun, and different weather situations in the middle. So your normal morning and evening routines may get forgotten or just completely abandoned. So you may not be able to wash your hair in the morning or touch up your makeup when it gets smudged or doing your large skincare routine, especially if you get back to your room super late after watching the fireworks. And when you get back to your room, you are just too exhausted. And that means you are going to need a plan B to help you out, only until you return to your regular routine. If you can't wash your hair due to it being too late or too early, then I would definitely pack some dry shampoo. Just spray it on and voila, you're good to go. If you're worried about your makeup and how it's going to look on those photo fast photos, you know those photos are in high definition. So consider packing some makeup setting spray. It will help, but it may not be totally perfect, but it's still better than looking back on your photos and really not liking what you see. This next one is highly recommended to be a part of your skincare routine anyway, but remember to pack your sunscreen, not only for you, but for your whole group. Make sure to keep at least one bottle in your park bag, as the last thing you want to do is to burn whilst you're out in the parks. Pack for the weather, but remember to go prepared. I have been in Disneyland Paris during a really hot week in May and I packed for that weather. You know, shorts, light tops, etc. But what I did not plan for was the thunderstorms that also accompany that extremely hot weather. We decided that our last ride for the day was going to be Star Tours. Walked over to Discoveryland in the evening heat, but left the ride to walk into a thunderstorm with torrential rain. Needless to say that during our walk, or rather run back to the hotel, we were completely soaked through. So now I always pack some ponchos that can be rolled up really small into one of the park bags as a just in case, and they literally take up no space at all. For that hot Parisian weather, remember sun hats, sunscreen, mini fans, sunglasses that will help protect you from the heat and sun. And don't forget about your little ones. Just because they're in a stroller doesn't mean the sun will skip over them. So if you can, take those stroller covers or clip-on fans that will help keep them as comfortable as possible. Another thing that you will thank me for reminding you to take into the parks is an extra pair of socks, especially on those wet park days when your feet will get all soggy, but also on those hot park days when your feet are going to get really sweaty. Some fresh, clean, dry socks will feel amazing if needed. This is also where those reusable Ziploc bags come in handy. You can pop your wet socks inside them, Ziploc them shut, pop them in your park bag and the inside of your park bag will remain dry and smell free. When in Disney, you are going to push your everyday items such as trainers, shorts, socks, tops, to their limits and many of these items will buckle under the pressure. 
as much as I love those Mickey ice cream bars. I do not want any chocolate down my top, especially as I plan way ahead on the outfits that I want to wear in the parks. So I will always carry with me a stain remover pen. They're super handy and will take up no room in your park bag and you will thank me later. Most Disneyland Paris rooms have mini sewing kits in them that are super handy. But I always take my own mini sewing kit. You do not want to be caught short with a hole in a really precarious place or a strap snapping on one of your cami tops. Take one with you as you'll always be prepared. You might wonder why this next topic is on the list. You're in Disneyland Paris and there is so much going on from the shows, parades, character meets, rides all the time because Disney is not just about the fun stuff it also means waiting lots and lots of waiting and these days it's not just for peak seasons it's always busy in Disneyland Paris now waiting in long queues for rides can lead to squirming kids a whole lot of when is it air turn and short tempers download a couple of games onto your phone yes I know it's extra screen time but the distractions will help. Or you could play games as a family or group to help pass the time. Or one of my personal favorite things to do to help pass the time, especially if it's around about lunchtime, is to make a mobile order. I can browse through the menu options, place my order, and it will be ready for when I exit the ride. If you want to skip over the lines altogether, use the app to check out the wait times as they're displayed in real time. Or if you're doing your research on the lead up to your trip, check out the wait times before you even get there to get a rough idea of what it will be like and then make your plan. If you have any super handy tips that you would like to share, drop them in the comments below and I will feature them in my next video. If you did find this video useful, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing and I'll see you again soon.